I have a team of roughly 15 staff divided up into buildings maintenance, grounds maintenance and then reserve maintenance. The grounds team look after the captive livestock and the otters, the reserve team look after the wild areas. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot of support so we have a lot of companies in place like FAFS to manage our fire alarm system, um, Surrey Fire and Safety who manage our fire extinguishers, um, ADL manage the burger alarms, um, Otis manage the lifts. Buildings maintenance is mainly about people pressure okay. so it's a lot of decorating but it's also it's your daily jobs making sure that everywhere is clean and tidy, mm -hmm. making sure the litter's picked up, mm -hmm. making sure that all your toilets are working and things like that. We have a kids play area so we have to be aware of slips, trips and falls so we, we check it every day. We have a, a, a tick box system where we can monitor the equipment and mm -hmm. the play conditions and, and stuff. We have a lot of water on site which yeah. is obviously a big risk yeah. but when the site was built a lot of the ponds were graded particularly so that you don't walk or fall into deep water. Oh and we use a lot of vegetation. Where we have got some deep water, we obviously do use life-saving equipment, so we have life-saving poles. On the other side of the coin, we have do a couple of areas where we do encourage kids to go across stepping stones, and we're sort of encouraging them to get wet and to fall in, but we've built it in such a way that it's very shallow. We're, we use radios a lot on site, so on a daily operational basis, radios are important because the site is over 100 acres in size, and even though it's in the middle of London, it can feel a bit remote at times.